Um, well, Chris, um, firstly, what's the, what's the mood like on, on the training ground? It's been a, a tough few weeks, I suppose, but obviously off the pitch, but also on the pitch. Yeah, it has been a tough couple of weeks. I've seen uh, the news of Rob's passing was obviously horrible to hear and that sort of brought the mood down and obviously the results haven't been going our way, so it has been a difficult period. Um, and yeah, the mood is down, but I think there's only one way to pull through it and that's to stick together and work hard and that's what we've done today on training. Um, we've had a double session today, so we're looking to sort of like put put our mistakes right and going forward we need to do that. So it's a collective thing. It's not just the back four, it's not just the midfield, it's not the strikers. Uh, we defend as a team, we attack as a team and we lose and win as a team. Um, I think that's important that we do stick together and come through it. How much analysis have you done from a defensive point of view then, obviously in, in your position and, and, and your responsibility as a group, how much analysis have you done about where things are, are not quite working in order to, to, to keep teams out? Yeah, I mean, they brought Brian in, uh, uh, obviously the assistant manager, and he's a very defensive-minded coach, so he does a lot of work on sort of showing me as um, whoever's playing in the back four clips and we go through on a day to day basis looking at how we can improve and looking where we went wrong, where we've done it right. Um, so yeah, we're definitely taking it, trying to take it on board. Um, it's obviously difficult in the next, we are uh, leaking goals in, but like I said, we've got a good group and we've got good players that want to improve and want to do better. And, See, ultimately, want to start creeping up the table. Mm. Um, and what's confidence like as well? Because a run like this can have a little bit of effect on confidence. But as a group, are you maintaining your belief? I think we have to because we know we're a good team. Um, see, when start the season, see winning well, and see first game the season in particular beating Rotherham five-one. Uh, so we know we're a good team. Um, yeah, we're on a difficult patch at the minute, but I think as a team, we're no doubt that we will pull through it and. Yeah, hopefully just start getting results and that starts Monday against a good West Brom team. Yeah, against the West Brom team that are likely to test you as a defensive unit as well because they can. They've got attacking players, they've got offensive players and they've proven that you know they will go out and, and test defences. So it's a it's a real challenge again as a, as, a, as a defensive unit. Yeah, and we'll be playing the best attacking unit in the league, arguably. Um, you've got obviously Dwight Gale, Rodriguez, players that have played at the top level um, over a long period of time so we definitely need to make sure we're, we're up for it on Monday because if we're not then we could get punished again but hopefully we have a good couple of days training where we look to improve our mistakes and hopefully put things right on Monday. Is that maybe a benefit for playing on a Monday? Obviously everyone else is playing over the weekend, you've got an extra couple of days actually to try and get the last couple of games out of the system and, and, and really prepare for this one. Is that actually a good thing then this time around? Yeah, it can help. Obviously, when you've got Tuesday, Saturday game, it's hard to properly do sessions in between because you're managing players that are struggling from injury and you'll see get some lads coming Thursday morning not feeling great. Um, so it's difficult to get some take on real good information on board. Um, so obviously having the extra couple of days gives us a chance to come in tomorrow, come in Sunday and... Um, counteract what West Brom do and uh, look on how we're going to build up, how we're going to defend out of possession, not mm. pressing. So it should help. Um, obviously, for the legs, it gives you an extra couple of days to recover, which is also important. Yeah, especially with the fact that there are players missing out of the squad as well, which puts a bit more pressure on the, on the players who are fit or have been fit. For you... Is this the most difficult spell as a player? In the, I mean, that you know, your career, as your career so far has been in, in in the pro game in the in the first team. This is probably the toughest, toughest little spell that you've had to cope with mentally as well as the, the physical challenge. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, obviously, I haven't been in, in the game that long. Obviously, it's my second season in the championship, but it has probably been the hardest sort of period for me because. As a team, we've never really had a run like this. From what I've experienced, we've always sort of. If we've lost a couple, we've always come back and won the third or fourth game. But obviously, it's been six games now we've lost. So, is we are on a there's no hard net. We are on a difficult run, and yeah, the confidence ain't that high in the team. But 
I think good teams stick together and good teams will pull through that and that's what we've got to have the belief that we can do so mm. what, what gives you grounding what gives you the ability to because obviously you could spend your time as a defender thinking going through every goal that's gone in thinking what should I have done what could I have done but you need to somehow pull yourself away every now and again what do you do to try and give yourself headspace to concentrate on focusing forward yeah I think obviously when you can see goals there's always a lot of emphasis on the back four um, and obviously yeah, I've got to hold my hands up for my own performance and look at the goals that we've conceded and yeah there has been times where it's been a back four but I think it is a collective team effort and we've played against teams this year that defend for their lives you look at Middlesbrough last year um, last week and they get bodies behind the ball they make it hard to play through and I think we've got to try and be that team um, to make it hard to play against and difficult to break down and I think the only way we can do that is practicing it on the training pitch and obviously carry on trying to do extras after training because ultimately that's going to mm. that's going to help you but I think it has got to be a collective effort and that's what I've got to put the emphasis on that it's not just the back forward at defending it's um, obviously all 11 players in the team what, So it's a Saturday without a football match I'm, I'm assuming you'll be training but what are you going to do on a Saturday afternoon but what, how will you fill your weekend without playing until Monday? I mean, I'm not used to having a Saturday off, um, so I'll probably look to have a coffee and spend time with my family because that's what I like doing in my spare time. Um, but obviously different players got different ways of spending their um, time off, so I think obviously we're not used to it being on a Saturday, but I'm sure I'll watch some sort of football over the weekend, whether yeah. it's match with down a Saturday evening or... Um, a game on a Sunday. Yeah, so you've got to fill that time. It's a bit strange. You're not going to pop out and see a local game or something. Yeah, um, I should do more to be honest. But <laughs> like I said, it's difficult when you've got a Saturday game every week. Um, but yeah, I'm up bed. I mind watch my mates play. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, and just just finally, in, in regards to uh, to looking forward, just sometimes you know people saying to me on Tuesday, a result can spin a season very quickly, can't it? So a, a result on Monday and then backing it up with a with a home game against a, a Swansea side who will maybe play in a certain way as well. Suddenly things turn around very quickly in this league. Yeah, it can do. And You look at the run we had at the start of last year where we didn't get a win for mm. eight or nine games and we ended up finishing the season really strongly. So I mean, no doubt that we will start picking up results, but it has to happen quickly because the thing with this league, the game's come thick and fast and if you ain't picking up points, you can plummet down the league. So we'll make a conscious effort to start that Monday.